Saturday, friends. Brittany saw me sit down, so he came by. So we're gonna start with some dead bugs. So you're gonna be on the ground. On the ground on your back. Hands up in the air, feet up in the air. As your right foot goes down, your left hand goes down. Back to the center, opposite. So we're gonna do that 10 times. From plank, we're gonna go left foot to left hand, drop your hips. Back to center, right foot to right hand, drop your hips. We'll do that 10 times. Then we're gonna press our hips up, pedal out our feet. So one, two, for 10. Up onto the tippy toes, into plank. Five push-ups. This is me multitasking. What? What? For your cardio piece. If you want to switch up your cardio piece for something different, you could do reverse single unders. Starting with a rope in front of you and then swinging it backwards. Stimulus makes you jump a little bit higher in case you've jump roped a couple times this week. That's another option. Also do a combination between high knees and butt kicks. So you look like this up on your toes, back and forth like that. If you want to do butt kicks, back and forth like that. That's if you can't get out and go for a run or if you don't have a jump rope or you don't have uh, stairs to run up and down that's an option too. If you have a wall that you don't mind potentially getting footprints on, this is a wall walk. You could do it outside too, then I guess it wouldn't really matter. But we're inside, so this is what it looks like. Can't really see me, but I'm starting in plank position, walking my feet up the wall. As I walk, my hands back towards the wall. Touch my head to the wall, slowly walk back down. One wall walk. This would be another option for a wall walk. You gotta make sure you move everything out of the way in case you hit it, especially chalk buckets. But start with your foot on something raised. In this plank position, walk your hands out and then walk them back here. For the hang power clean, a lot of you guys only have either one dumbbell or one kettlebell. So you're probably going to be doing the 10 reps. You'll start here, you're going to jump up, drop and catch, and then stand. From the side here, jump up drop and catch, stand. So you're not dropping all the way down into the squat, just a quarter squat. With the kettlebell, it'll be the same thing. You're holding it by the top, jump up, drop and catch, stand, reset, jump up, drop and catch, stand. If you have two, you would just hold them by your sides. I'm sure I have two. got two 10 pounders if anybody needs one. From here, dip, jump up, drop and catch, stand, back down, dip, jump up, drop and catch, stand. 